Christina. That's exactly right. <laughs> Morning, folks. Welcome to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here this beautiful Tuesday morning. My name is Bruce Dickey. Thank you so much for joining in today. As you can see, uh, my guest today is Chet Snyder. He is the volleyball coach at Fairfield, and he also brought a couple of uh, fine young players along with him, Samantha Estes and Macy Clark, and we're going to be talking uh, talking to uh, all of these uh, young ladies and, and this young man here in the next little bit as uh, you are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. You're going to need to scoot in a little bit more, Samantha. We've got you scooting too far out. The, the, the bad deal is me and Chet are both so... <laughs> Let's call it broad-shouldered. How about that? Is that a good way You're, to put it? You just called me fat. <laughs> Yeah, I hear. You. Well, we, me and Chad are large, so uh, the, the poor little girls get the, the swept off to the side. But uh, we'll have we'll uh, be talking all kinds of uh, Fairfield volleyball as well as all kinds of other things uh, with uh, Chet and with the young ladies. Again, you are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV in Salem on Channel Three here in Flora on Channel One Hundred, also Channel Twenty Five uh, down that way in Sisney, Jeff, Louis. Louisville and uh, the Fairfield Browns wherever the world you want to see on channel 100 as well as uh, online on YouTube the big talk with Bruce Dickey channel do check that out when you get the opportunity what is going on around the area this Tuesday August 14th well the FCHS show choir they're gonna be uh, go they're running their show choir camp uh, today and tomorrow and I guess they had some yesterday from 4 p.m. to 7 o'clock that's in the high school choir room down in Fairfield also uh, in Albion tonight the Tuesday night bowling league the Tuesday night women's bowling league they're gonna have an organizational meeting as uh, and that'll be at 630 that'll be at the Albion spare time bowling alley any women interested in getting a team together or maybe just an individual that'd like to join a team uh, join the fun is invited to uh, help them uh, get that off to a good start first night of bowling will be August 28th at uh, 630 uh, now I'll, I'll ask you uh, Chet do you Bowl. I do bowl. Yeah, you any good at it? I'm terrible at it. <laughs> wow, that's always fun. I enjoy it. That's good. That's that's half the battle. That's half the battle. Also going on here today, and now this I know you do, over at the Salem Community Center, they're going to have a country and western dance, and that'll be, you see now, that <laughs> would be perfect for you. I didn't know you knew that. You didn't know that you were going to be there or that you were a big country western dance no, fan? I'm just a dance. It doesn't matter if it's country western or rap or what. I'm a good dancer. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, the girls can vouch for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Just because I'm big does not mean I don't have moves. I didn't call you fat, yeah. Chet. <laughs> I didn't yeah. call him fat. Mm -hmm. I called him broad-shouldered. Mm -hmm. I, I wish there was a Dancing with the Stars in Fairfield. I would enter. See, now that'd be the thing. You get you and Brunsma involved, mm -hmm. and, and then you, uh, that'd be pretty good. We ought to yeah. we gotta put that together. I, I've always had moves. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm certain. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. This country and western day is going to be at 7 o'clock in Salem, like I said, at the Salem Community Activities Center. The entertainment provided by Woody and the Nighthawks. That'll be fun. Admission is 5 bucks. Potluck dinner at 8.30 and a 50-50 draw at 8.45. So uh, that'll be fun. Also at the New Beginnings Church, I believe this is in Newton, uh, they'll have uh, the Team of Mercy meeting. It's a support group for those who've had loved ones passed due to suicide also uh, today at uh, 12 30 at heritage woods in flora marty williamson's going to be playing and he'll uh, play for about an hour all uh, at the uh, flora elementary school today at six o'clock they're going to have a big open house and uh, that'll be again probably for parents and uh, if you want to take your kids to see uh, all the uh, things going on at the uh, well, that's kind of strange why it's doing that i uh, have uh, take your kids to see what's going on at the uh, K through 5 5th grade uh, Flora Elementary School 6 o'clock tonight up to 7 o'clock this evening and uh, that uh, is today also a diabetes event at the SSM St. Mary's Hospital tonight that'll be at 6 o'clock now if I was the real jerk I'd mention diabetes and talk to you about it then you would say I was calling you fat well actually I was just in May diagnosed very pre-diabetic 
Join and, the club. And um, went for my blood checkup. He gave me two months to work on it. I'm not pre-diabetic anymore. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is my summer accomplishment. How much weight did you lose? 50. Good for you. I was going to say that, I, that you thought I was calling you fat. Well, I'm still very fat, but I'm 50 pounds less fat than I was. Well, that's a that's a great accomplishment, Chad. Congratulations. That's Thanks. outstanding. Uh, that's very good. I, you know, I've lost 30 since uh, it November. Makes a difference. Yeah, it really does. It, it, it and yeah. You don't have as much still to lose as I do. I have a lot. To we lose. both still have a little yeah. bit to. We both need to get a little bit more healthy, don't we? We do. That's exactly right. What is going on on television? What's on Wabash? What is uh, available for you to watch? Mainly baseball today here in uh, Major League Baseball this Tuesday. It's Milwaukee. They're going to be at the Cubs. They've got a go short Cubs. series. Uh, go. You said go Cubs. Go, did you see that home run last night? Grand slam. You know, I figured we'd probably get into this at some point. Uh -huh. Your little cub cub fandom oh, type of thing. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll we'll uh, talk about these kind of things eventually, but uh, you know, at some point the girls are going to have to talk. We can't let you just talk about your cubs for the whole time. The first place cubs, yeah. This is <laughs> big talk with Bruce Dickey, Chet. <laughs> big talk with Bruce Dickey. You're not supposed to talk yet. Okay. Maybe we'll just stick to the Illini and the Mules. We'll talk about the Illini. Well, we might talk about the Cubs, too. Who knows? Uh, Milwaukee is at Chicago. A pair of games. 120 this afternoon. Julius Chassin on the mound for the Brewers. He'll go up against Jose Quintana. on uh, uh, That'll be on NBC Sports Channel. NBC Sports Chicago Channel. Channel 643 on your Wabash dial. Also tonight on MLB Network. Channel 599. Boston is at Philadelphia. Rick Porcello pitching for the Red Sox. He'll go against Nick Pavetta for the uh, for the Philadelphia Phillies. And then finally tonight, Washington is at St. Louis, the second game of their four-game series together at 7-15. Gio Gonzalez taking the mound for the Washington Nationals. He'll go up against John Gant, and that'll be on Fox Sports Midwest. That is channel 630. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't have to cough while I'm talking about the Cardinals. You're just such a wow, such a bitter, bitter man. You won the you won the thing two years ago. I know. I know. You shouldn't be that bitter. I'm not bitter at all. I'm just uh, coughed. All right. All right. <laughs> I don't mind the Cardinals at all. That's Chet. That's Macy. That's Samantha. Yep. And we'll be back uh, right after these words. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. Back after these. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Florida. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. 
When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at Bruce D at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. Morning, folks. Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. My guests here from the uh, Fairfield High School volleyball team down there on the left or the, the very far end. Please say hello to Samantha Estes. How are you, Samantha? I'm great. Thank you very much for joining us today. I'm I appreciate glad you that. Could. Here in the middle, please say hello to young Macy Clark. How you doing, Macy? Good. How are you? I'm good. You, you guys are both going to need to sit up a little bit closer to the microphone when you talk. That'll be fine. And also here with us is uh, he's the volleyball coach at Fairfield. You've been there now 15 or 16 years, right? Uh, 15 for varsity, and then I did JV for one year. Helped Tim Pearson out. So this what, is our 15th year. What got you into uh, coaching volleyball? Because um, you were you played basketball uh -huh. as a young man. I played and, uh, basketball, football, and baseball at Martinsville. Like Martinsville is like Sisney without – I mean with football. With football, yeah. And um, we um, – if you were a boy, you all played all three sports. So we didn't have very many kids. So, But um, our family, my mom was one of nine – I mean 12, and my dad was one of nine, and we always had big family. You've got cousins. Get-togethers, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're poor, and you always just could set up a net and play volleyball for cheap entertainment, and yeah. we'd eat food and play volleyball. And um, a couple of my cousins got into coaching, and I just followed along. Um, Had you met? I'm, I'm guessing then you met uh, Coach Pearson while he was still at Marshall before he came down to uh, Fairfield. No, I didn't meet him until he was at Fairfield. Oh, really? He actually coached at Martinsville. Yeah. Um, two years before coming, but I didn't know him until he got here. So I coached at Merriam um, before coming to the high school. Where'd you go to school? Which, like which time? Either time. Just tell me, however, tell me however much you want to tell, Chet. Well, I started out Lakeland. Yeah. And then went to Eastern. Yeah. And um, I, I helped with the Lakeland volleyball team while I was there. And then um, took a couple cla volleyball classes at Eastern and learned a lot there. And then went and was a student manager for Bethel. Uh, okay. My, at my my third college. So. How many? Okay, then I'll ask a difficult to, question. How many colleges total? Three. <laughs> Okay, well that's good. He didn't know he was going to get grilled. He no. probably we, it would all be going well if he hadn't brought the Cubs thing up. Right. All right. Now I see you're from Martinsville. I can understand your little. How did you end up becoming a Cubs fan? As uh, just my both my mom and my dad were Cubs fans. My dad right. was a huge Cubs fan. So it's a genetic thing. Yes, it's a and, genetic anomaly. Um, my grandfather was a Cubs fan, and I mean, he never got, he passed before, but my dad passed a year and a half, but he got to see the Cubs win the World Series. Oh, that's great. Right before, so that was a fun, fun yeah. thing, because really, when you're a Cubs fan, you thought you're never going to see it. You know, people can say, oh, we knew, but 
No, we didn't. No. Well, you always you're always afraid something bad is going to happen. Because at least it, they at least at least in my in my experience with with folks who have gone many many moons without a title in their in their preferred sport they always think they're you're always waiting for the shoe to drop and the cardinal and, and you and i can understand why cubs fans are sick of cardinal fans because cardinal fans always always exude a confidence that they're gonna win anyway right right is and that is that kind of uh how i think is? cubs fans become you know got to the point where if it could go wrong it did and we just knew it was going to fall apart and it always did until that Until two year. years ago. So, and, you know, when they hit the home run to tie it up, yeah. you're still thinking, oh, uh, there, there it goes. Cleveland still has but, the last at bat. Chris Bryant slips, you yeah. know, fielding that last ball. But they still got him. They got still, a, got him. Yeah. <laughs> he still got him. They still got him. Well, that, 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 uh, that's good. That's good. So you went to all these schools. Um, when you came to Fairfield, uh, mm -hmm. what made you decide to become involved in the uh, volleyball in, in the volleyball program, and what made you decide to get involved with the high school? Well, I've always been involved in the volleyball community. I know, I've known knew lots of the coaches. Brendan McCarty was at Kansas, um, which they were really good right there north of Martinsville, and Marion Larimer was at Casey Westfield for years, and they just had powerhouse programs and. Then I became friends with Linda Oxby, yeah. you know, that was at Edwards County, and Tony Phelps was at Benton, and um, these are some and, and these are some big names oh, in, names. in Southern Illinois volleyball. That's huge names, and um, there, I just met actually Tony for we got some ice cream at Dairy Queen Saturday night. Oh, know? is that right? He's retired. He's in the Hall of Fame now. And, yeah, but still, I love to pick those people's brains, and but I ate supper with Jill um, Kistner from Newton's Coach. She okay. is the She's the new Linda Oxby. She's the best coach in Southern Illinois. I had uh, I had uh, uh, Hall Jessica Holloway on uh -huh. the show yesterday, and um, she was talking about how Newton has basically built up a mm -hmm. huge program now, haven't they? Oh, they're they're crazy good, and a lot of that comes from Jill. Like Jill is, I she is a young Linda. Like she's. She's tough, but man, her girls—they're—they're they're fantastic, and we—we've got some good rivalry with them right now. We got them twice that, or we split with them this summer. We got uh -huh. them the last time, and um, we're, we're gonna, we know that if we're going to win a sectional, we're going to have to beat Newton. Well, you're going to have to go through Newton to get to get it Correct. right. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit. You you brought her up, and and I knew Linda Oxby uh, on a on a business level. Uh, I worked with her for ten or fifteen years while she was at Albion. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you took from some of these other coaches into your coaching philosophy. What did you take from from Linda? What a fine woman she was too. Oh, she's outstanding, and um, Linda was a little bit ahead of her time with. What, what Southern Illinois Volleyball became because Southern Illinois Volleyball was bad. Mm -hmm. And Linda built a powerhouse in Southern Illinois. Right. And Kathy Black had one at North City. And those were the two programs. And they could compete with good schools other places. And because um, volleyball other, like if you would play other Southern Illinois Volleyball teams against good teams, they just get smoked. Yeah. Those two programs, those those ladies built programs that, you know, could draw fans and she built an incredible, you know, fan base at Edwards County where That's kinda what that that's a little bit about how Edwards County is different from most other places, mm -hmm. isn't is the amount of fan involvement right it's, it's they, difficult to build up you uh, you girls would you'd like to have more fans there wouldn't you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. oh yeah and then and these girls are getting like we, we have good turnouts now we we host four of the biggest tournaments in the summer right at fairfield we brought in 26 teams one weekend i mean one thursday afternoon we brought in 18 one time and then 16 twice this summer wow and Stu strauss came down you know they finished second in state last Stu year strauss yeah finals they're, they're, they're outstanding you know newton was there twice massac county comes up tri-county comes down from way north 
We'll talk. We'll talk a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, if uh, how much of the uh, of the competition in the summertime helps over the, the for the competition during the uh, during the season. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. This is Chet Snyder. He's the head coach of Fairfield uh, FCHS volleyball. We'll have several of their games on television. And I brought up Edwards County because mm -hmm. we're going to have uh, what the Edwards County, I believe, the Pink Out Night. Oh, that'll be is, great. Uh, it, is uh, going to be on on the uh, the. It's it's always a, it's one of the biggest crowds for a volleyball game in Southern Illinois. Yeah, every year. We're looking forward to that. Uh, down there again is Samantha Estes. Right there is Macy Clark. Ladies, I will talk to you. <laughs> See, now the thing is, you want me to talk to you at some point, but then after I start talking to you, you're going to say, "Hey, look, talk to him." <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after these words. Do stick around. It's my choice. It's my choice. It's my choice. So many of our county residents have treatment or surgeries done at larger hospitals. What they don't always realize is that they have a choice. A choice to select where they can have physical therapy or any number of post-operative treatments and follow-ups. Clay County Hospital is your choice. Talk with your specialist, surgeon, or primary care provider and let them know that you want to stay close. Close to family, friends, and most importantly, home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Flora. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at BruceD at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. It'll help. Morning, folks. Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. My name is Bruce Dickey. Thank you so much for uh, joining us uh, this morning. Here to my immediate right, it's Mr. Chet Snyder. He's the head coach of uh, Fairfield High School Volleyball. Next to him, it's Macy Clark. And next to her is uh, Samantha Estes. And we appreciate those folks for coming up to uh, join us today. All right, young ladies, how long have you played volleyball? Uh, Samantha, how long have you been playing? I started in sixth grade. Yeah. I played sixth Which school? Grade. I start. I went to Jasper. All right. Yes. And Very small team. Really. Yes. Were you small? 
Oh yeah. Really? Okay. Yes. How about you, Macy? Where'd you when did you start? I started in fifth grade and I went to New Hope. You went to New Hope. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so you guys have been. What what year are you each? I'm gonna be. We're both gonna be seniors. You're both gonna be seniors. So you've been playing against each other for. You learned. You grew up playing against each yes, other. We did. So do you hate each other? Did it, did it start a real rivalry? You hate each other and that kind of stuff. Oh yes, it was a big. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Such a such a uh, such a, a tough diff, a difficult time sitting next to her right now. I guess. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, all right. You said that, and and, uh, and I asked you uh, off the on the break about club volleyball. You play club volleyball. How how many years have you played? I played a total of two, but just recently this last year. Okay. Now is and uh, and uh, and you how how much have you played, Macy? I played. Last year was my first year. Of okay. Chet, tell me a little bit about how the club volleyball circuit helps the girls, helps the young ladies prepare for high school volleyball, or how much it's maybe a help in the recruiting process of college. Um, it does both. I'm preparing them. Um, you, they get to have their hands on a ball more than just – volleyball season is short. Yeah. Like in two and a half months, we are done. Yeah. And um, we started our first practice today. So – it helps them, you know, to have that. They don't have, you know, summer league volleyball growing up like softball does, you know, or um, upward basketball. So they don't have a ball in their hands. So club volleyball really um, has improved the skill level. It gives them an opportunity to go play good competition. And who coaches at the club level? I mean, where do you, uh, where do they find their coaches? Are, are there, is there, is there a crew of of good coaches throughout Southern Illinois or throughout this area? I guess it's not just Illinois, is it? Well, there's there's oh four or five different clubs in Southern Illinois now, and coaches could be a high school coach, a junior high coach, or just a volunteer. Mm -hmm. um, the club that these girls played at, Blue Plays, had 10 different teams from 11 to 18. Oh, wow. So there was 10 different coaches for each team. So Wow. So, uh, ladies, you uh, played on uh, the uh, the top level team, I'm assuming, or, or next to top, or, or how was that? The 17s team. The 17s team. Mm -hmm. uh, wh where where did you go to uh, to play? How far away were you able to go to uh, to get games? We actually had a game in Chicago. It was a three day weekend. The oh no, kidding! Day tournament. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No kidding. Who did you play against out there? Where, where were where were teams that you were playing from? My gosh, all yeah, they all flew over. in from all over. Really? Yep. Yeah. How big of a tournament is that? Uh, oh. It was in the Jenny. Yeah, the Jenny Finch Dome. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so you're on grass. Yeah. But then they put the court right on top of the grass. So everybody's walking around on grass, but you're on, they're playing how, on courts. How many, how many courts? There were 38. 30, yeah, oh, 38. my goodness. Yeah. Where is the Jenny Finch Dome in Chicago? In and I didn't know Rosemont. Jenny. Rosemont. Rosemont. I didn't know she had her own dome. I saw her on yep. the. Uh, she she threw out the first pitch to White Sox game mm -hmm. Friday night. I watched that and she didn't even mention the Jenny Finch dome. Yeah, I mean, is that it's mainly a softball site, I guess, right? It's it's at the Rosemont. It's called the Rosemont Dome too, I think. But it's yeah. Jenny where Jenny Finch is. She's pr probably pretty modest. Well, no. She, she doesn't need to be. She doesn't need to be. <laughs> she doesn't need to be. She's got the she's got the uh, wherewithal, the athletic wherewithal to, to do to say whatever she wants. Uh, what's the most what's more fun then? The club game or the high school game or what do you guys enjoy better? I enjoy high school. Do you? I do. Are either of you going to try to play uh, at the uh, at an upper level, a higher level? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you have you been recruited yet? I've had a few look at me, I'm pretty sure. I mean, well, that's cool. How about you, Sam? I don't think for me. That's not for you, huh? Nope. Well, that's fine. What do you play, Macy? I play an outside hitter and middle back. Maybe. Okay, uh, so she's an outside hitter and a mm -hmm. middle back, but she's you're not as tall as Samantha, though, then, are you? <laughs> no. How tall are you? I'm about 5'8 and 3 quarters. So. All right, 5'8 and 3 quarters. <laughs> As a middle hitter, that's a little. That's not a little very tall, there, Chet. Well, at Fairfield, five eight and three quarters is tall. <laughs> um, she plays outside, and she outside does a, She does a really good job. When she came in as a freshman, she'll tell you she was, she was just all right. And um, sophomore year, she took a big jump, and 
from her sophomore to junior year, she took a crazy big jump. And really, she became she was one of the best players in our conference last year, and now this year, it's just she's one of the best players in Southern Illinois. That's outstanding. Um, how, how does the recruiting process work? How are you able to assist the recruiting process? I'm I'm assuming you haven't signed anywhere anywhere. No, now. I've had. Um, coaches, they, they come to our summer stuff and watch, um, or they're at club stuff, and they watch. One, that President's Day tournament, um, all their data goes in to all the recruiting sites. Oh, okay. So they'll contact me through that, and um, they usually say, hey, you got um, anybody? I like your bond outside hitter. They call her the bond outside <laughs> hitter. And um, okay. it, right away, you well, know, coach, coaches, and they're like, well, that's Macy Clark. And um, so, yeah, we do have girls being recruited. Um, and Macy will get get an opportunity to play at the next level. Uh, that's outstanding. Uh, what's the uh, who's the best player you have ever coached? Don't ask me that. Oh, I could ask. I could ask you that. You don't have to answer it. No, I do not. <laughs> Girls will get mad about that. Like, well, they, they, you know, they're not watching the show. Who's the? There was, they'll find out. <laughs> There are several who will probably think it should be them. Oh, but, okay. All right. Was, was, um, how do you answer that question, Chad? I, I have coached several young girls who right. are outstanding. We've had, then you name like a half a dozen. We've had 18. But then you, then you tick off the seventh one, I guess. Right. We've had, <laughs> we've had 18 girls go, you know, in to the last college. 15 years that have yeah. gotten college scholarships and several on the team right now. Um, we've never had anyone um, go Division One, yeah. And right now we've got – a girl being recruited at the Division One level, so that's that's exciting. Well, you know that's the thing. You've been coaching there 15 years as a mm -hmm. head coach. This is your 15th. This is Chet's 15th year. Um, having that many girls just advancing to play uh, college volleyball is pretty good. Yeah, isn't it? it's we we've been blessed with a lot of talent. And Samantha, she's very modest over there, but she can play in college. She just that, she just doesn't doesn't want to. So well, that's understandable. She, she I mean, could. That's, that that's that's pretty good. I did mean I, again, Chet. I didn't mean to be asking you the tough question. That's a tough question. <laughs> I don't want to say that. Oh, all right then. Let me let me put it this way before we go to break. Who's the best player in high school that you think you've ever seen? Let's take your who you've coached out of it. The best player I've ever seen in high school. Yeah, around around our area. Man, there's been a lot of good ones. Um, we played O'Fallon, um, and. They had a girl that's going to U of I. Um, she was how recently? Uh, she just graduated last year. Okay. Um, she was really good. Whitney Beck, obviously yeah. from Edwards County, was tremendous. Has she graduated from Butler? Yes. Okay. Um, she had a fine career up there she, too, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she had a really good career there. Um, lot there. We played a girl from Sue Straw this summer. That's. She's crazy good. Uh, he's, fun to he's, watch. He's uh, talking about all these uh, young ladies. They're all recent. I mean, that's a, and and that and that tells you one thing: volleyball is improving in Southern Illinois. Oh, big time! Big we'll time. talk more about that and all kinds of other things when we return. You are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV, and we'll be back right after these words. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. 
Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at bruced at wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Come see us at Anthony's Wild West in downtown Florida. Enjoy salad, pizza, and pasta buffet 11 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Not hungry for pizza? Our menu features a variety of food for every taste. Our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd. Let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the Fallout Shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area, and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Morning, folks. Welcome back. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. I'm Bruce Dickey. Thanks so much for tuning in. My guests here today, it's Mr. Chet Snyder. Mm -hmm. He is the head coach of uh, Fairfield High School Volleyball, and he's joined here today by Macy, Cl a couple of seniors, Macy Clark and Samantha Estes, and uh, we appreciate all you guys coming up. But we are looking for, let's, uh, let's, let me see one of these, tell you when we're going to be uh, showing the uh, the lady mules on the court. Uh, so Tuesday, September 18th, we'll have a game at Fairfield. It's Hamilton County at Fairfield, and you and Hamilton County over the years have kind of been, had a pretty good little rivalry going, haven't you? Oh, we got a great rivalry with the Foxes. Um, Jason does an awesome job there. Um, He's improved that program tremendously to where they're good every year. And um, they have one of the best players in the conference, one of the best players in Southern Illinois returning. And um, we will have some great, great matches against them. We have that on Tuesday, September 18th. We will also have on Thursday, September 27th, Edwards County at Fairfield. Now, tell me a little bit. Of, we've talked a little bit about, Ed, about Edwards County, but how does the pink out work? This, I believe, is the pink out game, isn't it? Um the yeah, September is it 27th the, game? Yeah, and that's at our place, it looks like. So yeah. um, we both both teams wear pink, the fans wear pink. Um, and this is in recognition the, of breast can cancer yes, awareness, yes, right? Can um, breast cancer. It's for breast cancer, but I think they recognize, you mm -hmm. know, the battle against cancer, but um, they use the pink for the breast cancer. And I'm um, just do, uh, great. Do, do folks make donations there on site too? They oh do, yeah, they collect, don't they? There's raffles. Um, they sell pork burgers that night. They there's lots of different ways you can get involved, and um, it's just a great thing for our two communities. We've done it for a long time now, and every year we raise as hundreds of dollars as much money as any programs in the state with this. Well, that's so. outstanding. That's the second game that we'll have. And the third game that we'll have will be uh, on Thursday, October 18th. El Dorado, pardon me, uh, Sisney will be at Fairfield. By and that point in the season... That'll be our senior night. Senior night. Okay, yep. so good chance to recognize these young ladies. Yep. Uh, uh, that's uh, How many seniors do they have? We have five Tell seniors. me a little about the roster. Uh, we have five seniors that um, all five of them have 
played since their freshman year. Um, Samantha got a little time as a freshman. Um, the so others, you, you must hit your growth spurt about then, right? Oh yeah, right okay. around there. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, um, and um, Samantha, she'll hit middle or right side for us. She's played right side the last two years. She was all conference as a sophomore. Um, just a really hard worker and really soaks everything I tell her up. And Chloe Newman and Kinsey Kolak will battle for middle positions or a right side position. Um, Kinsey works extremely hard. Um, she's not very big for a middle, but she jumps well and she's got a lot of power. Uh, Chloe, Chloe isn't really big either, but um, she she's long and um, does a good job. And then Macy will hit outside. She's become a six rotation player. Okay, she'll she'll stay out there on the court the whole time, hopefully. And um, Jessica Sims is the fifth one, and she'll hit outside or right side. She's kind of a versatile player for us. How many how many kids will you have in your rotation? You think over the uh, uh, mm -hmm. will you try to go eight nine? Uh, how many how many girls will typically well, play? Um, we're kind of down to two setters in our program, too, um, not counting the freshmen. Mm -hmm. So, and they're both sophomores. Kylie will run a 5-1 for us, but there's times like if we play T-Town or someone that has a huge outside, that's a big matchup problem for Kylie blocking when she's on the front row. Right. But we can keep her in the game, and she can swing outside, and I can move someone over to that right side. But then we got to bring in a setter. So without running that six two, we're probably going to have about eight or nine people. All right. Now he's talking. He's he's talking about different play uh, situational type of things. You realize that with I'm, I'm I'll be doing the play by play uh -huh. on these games uh, yep. that were there. <clears throat> I'm going to need a lot of help. Well, it's just, <laughs> I'm just simple. I'm telling like, you now. It's just, you I, know. I'm stupid. I, I've never done volleyball. I, uh, I learn fast, but I've never broadcast volleyball. Well, you'll just see Kylie Stewart. She'll set the whole time. Okay. But there may be a, a matchup where we're saying, oh, she's 5'5", five, five, and she's got to block that 6'1 girl. That puts her in a bad position, but she can still stay on the floor and hit up. She's, very, she's just a very good athlete. We can move her outside, and then, you know, maybe Jacqueline Sims, you know, could block on that right side for her. she's 511 just finished fifth in the state in the high jump wow you know and um switch things up like that we'll just do situational stuff uh, you want to put us in the best position to win well that's yeah that's that's the goal of it uh tell me a little bit about let's see i, I said we've got the Sisney game the senior night game yep. that gets you toward the end of the season um this season do you do you focus more on conference title, or you are you looking more to postseason? I guess it kind of depends. Maybe each each team sets goals before the start of the year, and I'm not going to ask you what the goals are because a lot of coaches keep keep them tied to the vest. But making assumptions, I'm assuming conference championship and winning a regional, winning a sectional, something like that, right? Do every everybody has different goals? That's exactly three of our goals. Um, we're, we're going to go over those this week. We have mm -hmm. two days this week, and we're going to spend some time with that. But winning the conference, um, we haven't done it in three years now. And um, you guys have never won the conference championship. Oh, really? And um, Edwards County's won it the last two years, and Carmine won it the year before. And we want to win a conference championship. Abs I mean, we – we want, you know, we'd love to go ten and zero. I was going to wait till later, but though, may as well talk about it now. The Black Diamond East, that's that conference is rolling right now, and that well, is a really good conference. Edwards County and um, Hamilton County. Hamilton County will be, you know, the other two, you know, top teams in it. Carmi will be all right, um, but it, it'll somebody's got to knock Edwards County off. It's yeah. theirs right now, you know, and they've got a good senior class and. Nixie does a good job there, and they, they, they're they they're going to be a good matchup for us. We're, we're looking forward to that. See, that's the other thing. You mentioned Carmi, and, and Carmi is uh, – they seem to – over the last couple of years, they have been a spoiler, haven't they, mm -hmm. of, of teams late in the season, right? Yeah, Kermai, um they knocked off Hamilton County in the regional last year. Yeah. They, um, they Three years ago, they beat us in the conference championship, and – um, we, Look at him. That, He's that still was, bitter. I'm Are you bitter. still bitter? Absolutely. I hate <laughs> but um, we, we want to get back on top in the conference. You know, we want to win a regional. We know coming down the regional, Newton and Edwards County, probably both going to be in our subsectional. So one of those may be in our regional. Um, it'll be tough to win a regional, but we we want to win a regional. We want to win a sectional. Yeah. We feel we're good enough to do that this year. Um, 
We would love to go to Redbird Arena. And then our four tournaments are always tough. Tell me we, about the tournaments. We. I tell you what. Hold on a second. Okay. It, we're going to talk a little bit about the 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 rest of the uh, of Fairfield schedule when we come back. They do play at a, in a variety of quality tournaments. We'll talk about that when we return. Again, you're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. I'm Bruce Dickey. Right here is Chad Snyder. He's the head coach of uh, Fairfield Volleyball. And uh, next to him, Macy Clark, along with Samantha Estes. And we'll be back right after these words. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LamontsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your healthcare needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness, but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for healthcare, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at bruced at wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970 big talk with bruce dickey hey thanks for watching come see us at anthony's wild west in downtown flora enjoy salad pizza and pasta buffet 11 to 2 monday through saturday not hungry for pizza our menu features a variety of food for every taste our dining room is large and spacious for two or a crowd let us help you host a private party in one of our banquet rooms. Visit the fallout shelter to have a drink with good friends. Then try your luck at one of our five gaming machines. See you soon in the Wild West. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. I do appreciate you tuning in today. My name is Bruce Dickey. Right here next to me is Chet Snyder. He's the high school volleyball coach in Fairfield. And uh, the next to him is Macy Clark. Next to her, Samantha Estes. And we're talking about all kinds of different things. Okay, I mentioned earlier before we, uh, before we started talking about the Black Diamond, one of the things that I think you've always tried to do since you've been running the, the, uh, the team at Fairfield, and they probably 
uh, had the philosophy beforehand. You always try to get in the tough tournaments, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. Um, our, our conferences, you know, Edwards County, Hamilton County are tough games, but we've got some weaker games. Some, some teams that aren't yeah. as strong. And so we really like to boost those tournaments. And our first tournament we go to at Casey, we found out our pool is Newton. Okay. We just finished Newton's third. very good. They finished third in state, and they've got five starters back. Um, Tuscola. Tuscola is always good at everything. Well, their they're bedroom community for Champagne yes. does typically get the strong athletes in there. And country. Mount Zion. Really? They are pre- Apollo. They are preseason number one in 3A. So um, our pool there is um, <laughs> loaded, just to say the least. Which tournament's this? That's the KZ tournament. Okay. And then we um, go the next weekend to Benton. Um, we have not won that tournament, and that's a tournament that if we, you know, we want to compete in gold and win it. If yeah. we don't, we'll probably be a little disappointed. Um, and then the next weekend, we're actually playing in the Heron Invitational. We've been in the Edwards County tournament for years, but it fell on our homecoming. So um, we yeah, kind of had to get out. Didn't yeah, it? and we're going to go to Heron, and um, it's another tournament that it's there's several 3A teams there, but man, we can compete and. We would like to win that tournament as well. And then we, in the season, we host a nice 16 team tournament at Fairfield and have a good mix of 2A, 3A, and 1A schools. And uh, Massac County has won it three out of the last four years. And they're, they're a tremendous program. And Lady, Ladies, when, whenever he's talking about all these tough teams in the tournament, do you pay attention? Do either of you pay attention to how good the other teams are? Or do you just, all right, let's go out and play whoever it is? Don't, and uh, you don't know much about it. Um, usually what I try to do, I just try to keep my mind on, just focus on the game. Yeah. Don't worry about, oh, maybe they're better than me or not. Yeah. Because if you think like that, then you're going to get discouraged and right. not play as well as you know you can. Right. So. Might run into somebody. Yeah. And, and you Just keep uh, your mind on your own focus, right? right. Same way with you, That's Samantha? I, yeah. So you don't so you don't care about this first tournament then. It, it, it could be, he could be bringing in like Nebraska and Penn State or something yeah. like that. You don't care. I'm excited for it. Yeah, that's good. That that's cool. See that? See that, that? You've got them thinking the right way, then, don't you? How have practices go? How did summer workouts go? Summer workouts were great. I think we got better this year. We this summer we did not play one tournament though with everybody. You know, in really? summer if they going to be gone to church camp or mission trip or vacation, we want them to work. go. We want them work. Yeah, we want them to have be a kid and have fun in the summer. So, like, when we went to U of I, we took two seniors, one junior, and six sophomores. Wow. And we we still competed very well and did fantastic. So, um, we're we're RJV, fresh soft team. We took our sophomores to Carbondale this summer, and they won that tournament, beat Carbondale and Murfreesboro. They won our JV tournament. Um, So, we've got – our senior class is good, you know, but we've got other. You've got you've got depth. Uh, yes, is what do. you're telling me. Uh, give me your other coaches. Who, uh, who who's helping you out, Chet? Uh, Nikki Bassnett will be our um, head assistant for the second year. Um, she played for a powerhouse in Nashville, uh, Tennessee. Um, they won four state championships. Oh, in really? A row, so she's I didn't used to winning. Um, she's kind of the. She can play the bad cop too. She's not afraid to be hard on the girls and tell them what's up. And it's so it's it's good for her. She's brought a lot to our program. And um, the head coach is supposed to be the bad cop, isn't he? I, I am. <laughs> Nikki has no problem with it though, does she? <laughs> no, she enjoys it. She's tough on them, and she's just been great, great for our program. She connects well with the kids. She's got that. I mean, she cares tremendously about the kids mm-hmm. and then can still be tough on them and that's what that's what because you can't fake that you know right. you got the kids got to know you care about them and man she does and um sabria phillips is helping this year she was a former player of yours former all south player um college player and, and she'll she'll do she, wonderful she coached club this last year and did a great job and then yvette combs who coaches at center street um mm-hmm. she volunteers for us too and is there when she can her boys are really active yeah. now so um, she's there when she can. But, it's um, kind of helpful, also, isn't it, to get some of the center street or or some of the uh, the grade school coaches in. They kind of get an idea how you like. Uh, do they get an idea how you like uh, the? Oh, uh, absolutely, Yvette. How you like things? Is not afraid, you know, to. Uh, we we talk volleyball a lot, and yeah. you know, and Elisa um, 
um, Jasper, they went to state last year, yeah. and they were loaded they're very with good. sixth graders. I mean, they're they're really young talent. Yeah, their two best players were sixth graders, and um, we we've seen those girls play. They're they're fantastic, and they they they've got a lot to look forward to now. Seeing these girls win and. Um, the feeder schools are doing really well. Uh, talk a little bit. Uh, we're running out of clock here. Tell me a little bit about uh, your practices for the, as the season has started. You just started on Monday, right? Yeah, we started on Monday because um, everybody else was starting like last week. You, last but you start your season starts a few days later. We start eleven days after everybody else playing. So you don't want to practice three and a half weeks and have two days in there and then end up with. 30 practices before the first game. Exhausted I would, kids. I would lose the kids, you know, yeah. and you, d you don't want that to happen. We're going to have in two days, we're going to have plenty of time to get in what we need to get in. And um, the girls are working really, really hard. We have, I didn't talk about the juniors. We have two juniors, um, Lexi Hobbs, who's um, won all conference libero last year, and she's um, fantastic, fun, exciting player. People like watching her play. She's a great teammate. Um, and then Jacqueline Sims, who just had great success oh, really? in track. She yeah. finished fifth in state in the high jump. She's 5'11", and um, her best volleyball is ahead of her. Um, she's going to help us a lot. Then That's we have, outstanding. I think we have seven sophomores. Um, oh, really? Who are, they're all just good volleyball players. No how do you like how many how many girls do you have in the program in total? I, I know you do you play freshman games uh, we have, like they do in the fresh soft season. Yeah, I mean, fresh soft games. Then we have a JV come in right after it, and then the varsity matches. We have twenty five girls in our program. Oh, okay, that's a bunch. Yeah, we have ten freshmen. So oh wow, a lot of them are freshmen. That's cool. Um, what are let's see uh, the the thought processes? How have you ever had a team? Uh, now you feel pretty good about this team. Yes. Uh, let's think about. Let's talk about Redbird Arena. Mm -hmm. Can we? Is this in the conversation? It is. Um, it's never been in the conversation with me um, of because we you know we've never we've been to the sectional finals but mm -hmm. we've never been to super. And um, there seems like there's always been that uh, Metro East team, like Breeze Modern Day or Breeze Central, you know, or just somebody who has had an exception. Somebody get in the way. And um, we don't have that this year. Like, there's about 10 teams that can make it. Really? And um, we, we feel like we're one of them. And um, it's going to be hard to get out of a regional. It's going to be hard to get out of a sectional, but it's doable. And um, they, they know they can do it. See, now that's the thing, girls. Is uh, Do you look at that, with him talking about that, do you look at that as putting pressure on you, or is that uh, more of a goal type of thing? How do you see that? Well, I see it as more of a goal because I know that the – I know we have a whole bunch of potential on the team, and I know we have upcoming potential too. Yeah. And I think we're going to see a lot of people growing and sh actually shining this year. So I, I've always thought we could do it. So. Same way. Oh yeah. Well, I tell you what, the, the it sounds like it's it's going to be a good year. Uh, uh, last thing, you you actually I won't even ask it. I was going to ask you about your schedule. The, the why you why you you always start a week and a half later than everybody. Do you mm -hmm. do it on purpose? No. 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 <laughs> it just happens. It just huh? happens. Well, wow, that's that's pretty cool. I'm I'm glad to hear it. Well, best of luck to you, Chad. Thank I think you. It, Thanks it for sounds us. like it's uh, uh, sounds like it's going to be an outstanding year, and and we look forward. We look forward to having you on Wabash uh, on Wabash Catch TV over the course of the year. Thank you very much, Bruce, for having us. You bet. Thanks for coming. That's Chad Snyder. Uh, right there is Macy Clark. Right down there is Samantha Estes. And they are all with Fairfield High School Volleyball. Season starts soon. <laughs> You don't even know what day. That's cool. No, we play Wayne City Thursday, August the 30th. Thursday, August the 30th. Yes, you are starting late. I mean, people are starting mm -hmm. the 20th, aren't they? Yeah, it starts the 20th, but we don't start until. That's pretty cool. Uh, you're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. We'll talk to you all real soon. Have a great day.